Hey everyone, it's Joe Glines. In this video on Auto Hockey Studio, we're going to talk about using and adjusting themes. Um, so by default, Auto Hockey Studio starts off with a dark theme. In sight, the norm is a light theme. And honestly, it was one of the things I didn't like at first, but after a couple days, I really got used to it. And now when I try to look at the, the big white screen in sight, it actually blind like blinds my eyes, but I actually I screwed something up in sight and I can't change it to a dark theme, which is ironic. But anyway. Um so for themes you can hit the Omni Search, Alt M, type theme, and it's gonna pop you right to it under settings. And so um what you can do actually let me let me move this a little bigger. At the top here it says instructions are at the bottom. So um the first thing I would do is come down here and so you can basically tell you you can left click on a lot of things to adjust the colors. Control clicking that helps you edit the font style size italics etc. Um, Alt click will change the background color um, and it works for numbers as well. So let's do a couple to make sure you get. You can also scroll in and out if you want the this adjust as well. So I'm shrinking it down a little. Um, but let's say I wanted to change the the color of this um, the saved line, right? I can just get close to here and click it. And then I can tweak that color if I if I so care to, right? Um, and um, same thing with, with like virtually anything here. This inline, once it gets highlighted, right? The inline comment, I could um, maybe make that a little darker. Yeah, it's a little, yeah, a little easier to read. But um, I think the point on the comments is to have them not stand out. But um, that's an inline comment versus a multi-line comment. Um, so it's interesting you can distinguish between the two and um, numbers, complete things in quotes. Um, so, and then let's say I wanted to make, for some reason, I wanted to have numbers bigger, right? That's where I can hold down control and click and up comes this menu. And so I could actually change the font size on, on those. Um, and so then if I'm typing over there, the numbers, I don't know if it would, oops, I'm going to throw in a couple numbers. Maybe it didn't. Let me hit, hit that and see if it if it hadn't adjusted. I probably should have made the font size a bit bigger. It does take a little while to do this because it's saving everything, all, everything, all the adjustments. Um, yeah, that's hard to tell. It doesn't seem any different inside. Oh, well, that might be a little bigger. Um, so let me get back into settings, themes, and then um, if you don't have Oh, I think I typed themes. So if you don't have a lot of themes, um, there's a lot in here that you can also go around and, and look at, you know, what's going on um, on different things. Here's the carrot. Adjusting the carrot color, great, whatever. But um, you, so you can go through all these things and, and really tweak it the way you want it. But um, if you don't have a lot of themes, I think it only comes with one theme or maybe a couple you can go to um, download themes and that will go and actually grab a bunch of themes that you can then go through. The default is this Zen burn dark, but when you start clicking around, you'll see very different versions, right? Um, I like how to God it's, it's pretty nice. Um, but the, the light ones, I think this, was it this one? No, um, SQL, one of those. Oh. oh, this one, SQL server. There we go. Like that, like that just is blinding to me now. Whereas I used to like it. I don't know how that happens, but um, so let me get back to Zenbird Dark. Um, so that's it. And, and then um, make sure that you hit this, which will save your settings. Uh, but that's it. It's basically it's a great way to customize um, the very knit, you know, different things. Um, actually, you know what I didn't do was um, adjust that one up there, but it, it's a great way to adjust the. Uh, the different settings you have and how you interact, I'm sorry, not how you view studio, which um, why not spend a couple minutes making it look better to, to your desire. Thanks.